Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to use the 3M Cloud Library app for iPad. This app can also be used on all iOS devices, including iPhones and iPod Touch. You'll want to start by turning your iPad on and going to the App Store. You'll want to make sure that you're connected to a Wi-Fi network when you do this. Once you're in the App Store, you want to do a search for 3M Cloud Library. When you do that, you'll find that there's an iPad version and an iPhone version. They're actually the same app. They work on both devices. That's why it works for all iOS devices. Go ahead and touch one of the install buttons. And when you do, you'll be prompted to enter your iTunes password. So make sure you know that ahead of time. Once you successfully enter that, the app will start to download. And then once it's loaded, you can touch it to open it. Once the app opens, United States will already be selected, and all you need to do is touch the Select State County entry line and pick Michigan. Then you'll need to indicate which library you're a member of, East Lansing Public Library. After that, you'll need to enter your whole barcode number right here. And once you've done that, you'll need to touch the button labeled End User License Agreement. That'll open up the end user license agreement, and then once you touch the green agree button, you'll be able to touch the login button. And that's it. You're now activated with the cloud library on your device, and you can browse and check out books. When you first open the app, you'll be shown the welcome screen with display shelves, and these are titles that are updated every week and that try to highlight various parts of our collection. You can see that this is showing jackets of those titles, but if you click one of the list view buttons, you can see a detailed list view. This will not only show you the jacket covers, but it'll also indicate which items are available. They'll have a green checkout button and which items are checked out to other patrons. It'll say add to hold list. So you can see that Bossy Pants is very popular and is available in 65 days. Instead of listing how many patrons are on the hold shelf ahead of you, it lists how many days until those items are returned. And Cloud Library items can check out for 21 days, so that gives you some idea as to how many people might be ahead of you. When you find an item you want to check out, you simply press the checkout button. I'm going to check out this Pros and Cons by Ivanovich. And once you do, it takes you to the My Books page of the app. We were on the shelves page of the app, but now we're on the My Books, and your book will start to download immediately. Once the book downloads, the book will actually open and take you to the first page of the ebook, which is usually the jacket cover. Like any other tablet device that you can use to look at ebooks, swiping your finger across the screen will turn the page forward or backward. If you touch the middle of the screen, a menu will appear at the top and the bottom. These icons give you ebook details, a way to return your ebook, ebook settings, changing the font, changing the size of the text, and a way to search within the book for a certain keyword. This tiny square in the right hand corner, if you touch it, you'll be able to put a bookmark slash post-it note on the page. And this slide bar at the bottom, if you touch this round circle and slide your finger across, lets you turn pages very quickly. It'll also show you page numbers as you do this so you can get to a precise location. When you want to close your book and go back to the other books you have checked out, you simply touch this X and it will remember what page you were on. And remember we got that menu to appear by simply touching the middle of the screen. We're back on the My Books page. You can see that there's also a button here at the bottom called Browse by Categories. This is kind of like browsing the library by subject. When the Categories page comes up, you'll see that different categories are listed. And if I click on maybe Biography or Autobiography, I then get some other subjects underneath that. If I decide to show all books, here they are again in list view and I can see which I can check out and which I can place on hold. It's also possible to search the cloud library by title, author, or keyword just like you would our library catalog. If I touch that search button I'm taking here, and you can see there's a simple search box at the top. What you'll want to try and do though 
is touch the advanced search button. By default, the app is set to only search for books that are owned by East Lansing. If you'd like to see all available books, not just the ones that East Lansing owns, touch the Include Books Not in My Library button and then touch the Done button. I changed my advanced search settings and then I went ahead and searched for Janet Ivanovich. And you can see that the search results show me not only items that are here at East Lansing, Love Overboard is owned by us, I can check it out, but for any item that you see the button Add to Wishlist, that's an available title that East Lansing could purchase. And anything you add to your wish list will come up on a list for library staff to review. And just like print or AV materials, we do fulfill patron requests. If I touch this Add to Wishlist button for Wife for Hire by Janet Ivanovich, you can see that it now toggles to remove from wishlist. And library staff will be notified that you'd like to read this. If it is purchased, the title will be placed on hold for you first before other patrons are allowed to check it out. I can see now if I go back to my books, I can now touch this wishlist button and see the books that are on my wishlist. You can also remove them here as well. If I touch the back button, I can see that there's also a reading history option. If I touch that, I can see books that I've checked out and returned. A book won't appear on the reading history until you've already returned it. And you can see there's a button to also delete your reading history. If I touch the back button, you can see that in the top right hand corner, there's a list view button. If you touch that, it shows you the books that you have checked out with a handy way to check them in early. So even though I've checked this out today and I have 21 days left, I don't have to wait the full 21 days before returning it. It'll confirm, would you like to return it? And if I click yes, it will return it. Once a book is returned by default, it gives you the option to rate the title. You can pick how many stars you'd give it and touch the rate button, or you can hit close if you don't wish to give it a rating. It is possible to place holds on eBooks. I've gone back to the Shelves button to look at what's on the shelves, and if I click List View for New York Times bestsellers, I can see that many I would need to place a hold list for. If I press one of those Add to Hold List buttons, I'm asked, would I like to receive an email when the book is available? And if I click Yes, it'll ask me to enter an email address. It will only ask you the first time you use the app. It will remember the email address for subsequent holds. Once I hit save, the hold is placed for me. A confirmation will be sent to your email and you'll need to verify that by opening the email, clicking the link. That's the Cloud Library's way of preventing spam. You can change your email address at any time by touching the account profile button in the My Book section and you can see that here's where you could change that email address. You could also turn off email notification if you didn't wish to receive them anymore. That's how easy it is to use the Cloud Library. The Cloud Library is available for iOS devices, including iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. It's also available for Android devices and Kindle Fire devices. Thank you.